Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm talking about uh, being a digital nomad in Indonesia. I've been out here for two months. I just uh, drove up here. I came up a uh, three hour ride to the other side of the island. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous uh, villa. I'm here with Isa. She's in there sleeping. Decided to shoot this so you could uh, see how this all works. I mean, I've been out here for two months and um, this villa was about um, three or four hundred dollars for four days for to spend Christmas out here, and uh, it's it's breathtaking. I got my laptop set up there in the back in the uh, kitchen, and uh, just did a little bit of work into what I do. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm working on my doctorate degree. In health systems i'm a registered nurse i have a master's in nursing leadership but um i've been able to establish an online business uh, selling on amazon and i'm able to travel anywhere because i'm also doing my doctorate work in nursing online so i'm able to live this digital nomad lifestyle and if you come out here the cost of living is pretty cheap um although i i I'm not that frugal when it comes to my living expenses. As you could see, this is a very nice villa. I don't uh, hold back on eating well and living well, but I do make a lot of money online. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. Um, before I get into that, uh, I did develop a new ebook on what I do. The link is below if you wanna grab it. You could go ahead and grab it before we get into it. If not, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to make twenty to $30,000 a month from my laptop and I think anybody could do it. Uh, let's just take one more look here. This is just gorgeous. Anyway, let's get into the video right now. Okay, so before we get started, let me get the uh, disclaimer out of the way. Uh, this channel is for educational purposes. This channel is to help uh, people like you who are trying to make extra money who are trying to travel, who are trying to get this financial freedom that I've been able to attain. But it's for educational purposes. Obviously, I cannot guarantee that you can ever make the amount of money that I make, but you can make even more, you can make less, or you might not make any. I certainly don't know your work ethic, but you do have to understand that I'm very driven. I'm a very driven person. As I've just uh, said to you, I'm working on my doctorate degree and I'm doing all of this with my online business and traveling. So I'm very driven. So I don't know what your work habits are like. So I'm not going to, and I cannot guarantee that if you follow some of the strategies that I teach, that you're going to get the same results. Uh, having that said, I'm going to quickly show you income proof of, of, of the income, the type of incomes that I, that I make online. It's not to boast. It's just to establish credibility and... Uh, so you could uh, see that this is something that uh, is possible. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this, uh, let's get this uh, income proof out of the way so you know what, um, what I'm saying or what I do is real. Uh, I'm doing my doctoral work on evidence uh, on health systems. So for me, it's always very important to, uh, in the actions and the practices that I employ to use evidence. So. How the hell are you going to know? Most, most of the people watching these videos are brand new. You, you've never heard of me before. So uh, I have a ton of proof in my other uh, videos. But quickly, I'm going to show you the check starts. My check starts rolling in the, you know, towards the end of the month. So if you look at my email here, you'll see December 23rd. And you can see that today is actually Christmas. So I'm going to click on here on this email, attention payee remittant uh, slip here from Audible. And I'm going to get into what I do and how I do it. But here's just one of the checks that are going to start coming in. Here's a check for uh, uh, December 22nd uh, to me for 5517 All right? That's, that's done. So um, this is certainly not the only check I'm going to get. Like I said, I do over 20000 a month. And, and I sell on the biggest platforms in the world, including Amazon and I deal with a digital product. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that today. But before we get into what I do and, and how I do it, you're probably interested in this lifestyle, this, this digital nomad. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how my days are structured, how much I actually work, uh, before I, I can show you what it, is, what it is that I do. And that this is something that you can do too if you wanted to. 
Um, so let's get into that. Okay, guys, so let me talk about the uh, digital nomad lifestyle and here in, in specifically in Indonesia. So we're in 2020 and we have the uh, COVID-19 situation. So basically, I've been here before to the island and uh, actually I was here at the beginning of the year for a month with Isa and uh, they closed down the country, right, because of COVID. So in order for me to get back into the country two months ago, I had to purchase a special uh, travel visa, which cost me about seven seven hundred dollars, so I could come in for two months. It's called a social a social visa, I believe. So I purchased that visa to get back into the country, but right now it's kind of quiet here compared to, uh, you know, the amount of tourists, the amount of Australians that are in this uh, island uh, normally, and so it's been really really nice. And you do have people here, you do have some Westerners, but it's definitely so much quieter now because of COVID and the prices are kind of cheap. So um, I'm going to show you probably in another video of the villa that, I'm, that I've been staying at. It's very beautiful, just, just like this one. And it's 50% off from what it normally is. It normally goes for about 2000 and change per month. I'm paying about 1100 1200 per month. Now, if you wanted to live out here in Indonesia, as a digital nomad, you could find, I mean, you could find places to stay as cheap as seven or eight dollars per day. Okay, it's that cheap, it's that affordable. Again, I make very good money with what I do, and I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut corners in the places where I stay because I need very good internet. I want to, I want to feel very good all the time because I'm working on, on my degree, and I'm not going to cut corners on food either. So, let me give you some prices on food. I eat, I would say I eat well every, every, every meal uh, compared to the U.S. And let's say if I were to purchase a meal in the U.S. for, a, let's say, a $30 or $35 meal, this is what I would pay here for, for two people. And that's including drinks, that's including dessert. So every time I go out to eat, I might spend between $20 and $30. But that's between myself and Isa, two people. And I'm eating very well. If you wanted to eat the local food, you could eat as little as 50 cents per meal, a dollar per meal, two or three dollars per meal. So this is an ideal place. If you want to be a digital nomad, this is an ideal place where you would want to come because you're going to have very good internet access. You could also work in these uh, workplaces that you could rent for the day, for the hour, where the internet is going to be super good. Or you could get a, a decent villa or hotel for a decent price that's gonna have decent internet uh, connectivity. And I haven't cut corners, so my living expenses here are about 1100 for monthly for living in a very beautiful place. And my meals, I'm spending about, uh, you know, $60, $60 a day on food, all right? But I'm gonna show you what it is that I do so I'm able to do that. Let's talk about next about my work schedule as a digital nomad here in Indonesia. Okay, so I'm back in Semenyak, Bali. Drove back down three hours. I left the Summer Kill Hill retreat. So this is my villa here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what my work schedule was like as a digital nomad here in Indonesia. My, let me show you my workspace. So there's my workspace right here, my laptop, my desk area. This is the bedroom here. Sorry for the mess, we're just waking up from a trip. There's Isa, and look how beautiful this, uh, this villa is. So let's get in. Let's talk about the type of schedule that I have here doing my doctorate work, doing my online and living as a digital nomad. All right. So let me talk to you about my schedule here in Bali. Uh, you first have to understand that for the last several years, I was working as a registered nurse. I was a travel RN traveling the U.S., and I was uh, doing, I did my bachelor's, I did my master's uh, program while I was traveling. And uh, I got used to a very strict schedule. So I would wake up at four o'clock in the morning every day. I would probably have to be at work at 6.30 or seven in the morning. I would go on to work, you know, eight, 10, 12 hour shifts, then come back home. I was probably in an Airbnb or a hotel. And through the, I did this for three years. And uh, so I got used to a schedule of doing my homework for school uh, early in the morning 
and I would go to work to the hospital and then I would go back home and I would do some of my work for my online business. And I did that, you know, five, six days a week religiously. Um, so I got used to being very disciplined. Um, I use this program that I'm showing you here on uh, this page here. It's called the software. I've been using it for several years. It's called Todoist. Uh, I, I will probably get a link at some point in this video so you guys could access it. It would probably be an affiliate link. Um, so dis uh, disclaimer for that. But just take a look at this here. If you look on my on my left hand side, these are all projects that I have. Uh, I publish Ghostwriters is a website that I have. It's a course that I that I teach. I already have some of my projects or my goals for 2021. Sarah is my assistant. I'm building this YouTube channel. So this is a project of daily task or whatnot. Uh, Vic Street is a real estate company that I have for flipping properties. Um, uh, POD is something in Bali. Here's my doctoral nursing program. I'm currently off for these two weeks for Christmas, but this is a fantastic program that I use. And this is what my schedule is like. I'm very, I just put everything in my to do it and make sure that I get it done. Um, as you could see, I even have this here that was due a couple of days ago, record Bali video. That's this video that I'm shooting now. So this is a program that I use. And let me tell you what my schedule is like. So I still wake up early. Uh, every day when Isa goes to work, I've been here for two months when she goes to work like at seven in the morning, I get up and I try to do an hour or two of my schoolwork every single day to get that out of the way, which is my hardest part of the day. I do a lot of reading, a lot of article reading, a lot of writing uh, for, for school, for my class. And uh, that's what I do. Then after that, I get into all of the different projects that I'm working on. And I love what I do because I'm involved in a lot of different things, even in real estate. Uh, I could be anywhere in the world and I've assembled a team back in the US where uh, I have people helping me, a real estate agent, a finance person, a construction people, all of that. Um, so I'll, I'll work on whatever I have with my publishing business and I'll just tackle the things that I have to do every single day. But I try to focus on activities that are going to generate revenue for me uh, and that's what I what I spend my day in. And I also uh, focus on an hour of learning every single day. So every single day, if, if, I, if I scroll down here, you're going to see a typical day for me. Review my finances. This is uh, today's the 27th. So today, for example, review my, my finances. DNP is my doctorate nursing uh, practice uh, course or uh, degree. Meditate goals stock market. I, I trade cryptocurrency, so I have to look at the market every single day to see if I want to add positions or get out of positions, uh, a breath, uh, breath work. And then I learn an hour every day. So I'm trying to learn something every day. So I try to read a book a day or learn something that's going to provide new skills, uh, new things for me to be able to grow as a person. Finances. And I try to do at least 200 push-ups per day or some type of exercise, swimming, squats, whatever it is, since I don't have a gym out here. So that's basically my typical day. When Isa comes back from work, she comes back from work like at 11 o'clock in the morning. We go out for lunch. I, I don't do anything for two or three hours. And then I'll, we'll come back and I'll work for two or three hours. And then we'll go out to dinner uh, for an hour or so, and then come back home and just relax. So that's typically my work as a digital nomad. I, I would say my hardest part of the day is doing my doctoral work because it's, you know, formal education is not like the learning that I do at least an hour a day where I'm learning something that I'm going to use right away that I'm going to implement. It's not theory, it's practical stuff. And uh, so that happens to be the hardest part of my day. And ironically, it's, it's the structure of the nine to five grind type of thing that we're constantly working in jobs that we don't like or going to schools or an educational format structure that doesn't really work anymore. That happens to be the hardest part of my day. All right. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you what I do. One of the things that I do, uh, which is the I publish ghost writers, the digital uh, products that I sell online to generate, uh, you know, 20,000 per month of earnings for myself. All right, let's get into that next. Okay, guys, so let's talk about what it is. One of my most profitable businesses is this uh, digital online uh, business that I have. So we're here on Amazon. I'm here in the Kindle store. What I sell is books. Uh, I'm not a writer. I don't have a website uh, for selling books. 
um, I don't have a large following. I don't have a large email list to sell books. I'm not a famous author. But what I do is I have ghostwriters, hence the name I publish ghostwriters.com. I have ghostwriters write books that I want them to write for me. I understand the algorithm. I understand the traffic that occurs in, on Amazon. Amazon is a search engine just like Google, just like YouTube. So people go on here to find solutions to their problems. So I publish books on uh, nonfiction books. They're not fiction, they're nonfiction. So how to things, for example, how to lose weight, uh, what is the keto diet, uh, self-development, and the list goes on. So I've learned how to, if I type in here keto, I've learned to provide digital content, books, for people that are searching, for example, keto cookbook, keto diet, keto diet after 50. These are all types of books that I publish. So I have ghostwriters write, from, write the books for me. I have uh, book designers uh, design the covers for me. I upload the books to Amazon. I also have the books converted into audible form, audio form, and I sell them on audible.com. That's the 5,000 that you saw a couple of days ago that's being sent to me by audible.com for my sales of audiobooks. So if I go here to my back office for uh, Amazon and I click on the last, the last 30 days, I'll refresh this, the last 30 days, uh, and I sell on multiple platforms, just not Amazon, you will see that I sold over $6,258 of books. If I go back to the last 90 days, you will see that I have sold over 15 here, $17,000 in books, Kindle books. This is Kindle, this is print, and print on demand. People order the book, it gets printed by Amazon, it gets sent to their home. There's no cost for me to, for inventory in a warehouse. Uh, it's just a beautiful business model. So this is what I've been able to scale up to twenty to thirty thousand dollars of earnings, not revenue. If it has to do with revenues, I've sold over more over a million dollars worth of books. Uh, I've been doing this for the last four years. So this is what I've been able to do, and I've developed a course on how to do this so other people could do the same thing. It doesn't have to. It doesn't mean that you're going to make ten thousand, twenty thousand per month, but you could certainly make money doing this. This is a very easy model to follow because you don't need a website. You know, you don't need to learn how to advertise. You know, there are 4.5 billion people coming onto Amazon every single month. There's uh, 24 to 26 million uh, buyers coming into audible.com every single month. And besides these platforms, my books go on to Walmart, they go on to Barnes and Nobles, they go on to distribution channels internationally. Uh, in addition to that, I have my books translated into multiple language, uh, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and the list goes on. So this is what I'm able to do, and it doesn't require a lot of me because I've already refined this process. In other words, I order books every month, I have an assistant, we format the books, we order the covers, we upload them, we put ads on them through amazon.com, we, uh, we get them produced into audio format, and we upload them to audible.com and I let Amazon do the heavy, the heavy lifting for me because I don't have to have a website. I don't have to uh, generate traffic. It's all there. So this is the easiest model to follow. And that's, that's what my business, this is what I do on a daily basis. I'll maybe I, today I'll add some books. I'll order some more books and they might take like a week or two to, uh, to get written or I'll check covers that are coming back. It's a really laid back, easy going flow. This doesn't consume my all day. This is not a stressful situation. So if you want to go ahead and grab the uh, ebook below, it's free. It's uh, 20,000 words of free content that shows you what I do and how I do it. Um, and you can also look, uh, look through all of my videos in this channel that teaches you strategies that I use to sell so many books. I sell over 200 books a day. So you're certainly going to get value if you go through my channel and you learn some of the strategies that I use to make what I make. All right, guys, I hope you got value in this. Um, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. If you want more content that shows you how I do and how, how I do this, 
or if you want to learn how to make money online like I do, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and smash that uh, notification button so you know when I upload a new video or just hit the like button because I am trying to grow this channel uh, as a new revenue stream. That's right. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.